Look at this. I got headphones <laughs> on. I got a mic going. <laughs> Baby. Huh? If only people could see you now. <laughs> hey, no video. We've gone through this before. All right, no all video. right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small, medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. There? No. I'm here. I see you. Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you. I can't see you. No, because you know what? Uh-huh. We avoided Mexico. Uh-huh. Because the internet is shit, so I come home and the internet is shittier here than it is in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. It was downstairs getting mad at the internet. She goes, what's the matter with this stupid internet? Oh, That's because it's Shaw and they don't give a shit. No, they don't. They don't. This podcast is not sponsored by Shaw. <laughs> no, it probably will never be sponsored by Shaw. No. no Unless they no. want to upgrade my freaking lines again. Like, Honestly. Yeah, I don't understand yeah. how complicated it is in 2019. Like, I don't get it. It's, it's, a, it's horrific. It's a core, it's a core thing, right? Like, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's hard. I don't know why it's hard, but it's hard. Welcome back, I don't, man. I don't get it. Thanks, man. Yeah, how was it? Yeah, it was good. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Come on, buddy. Sign uh, beer. You know, it's it's good. You look pretty chill, man. Look yeah, pretty chill. Yeah, it was honestly. Yeah. It was you know outside of the fact I had a gout attack on saturday night so like i've been limping like literally oh, no. limping for oh, the last no. two days it is so freaking sore wow but you know yeah. what happens when you, when you sit in there all week and you know i don't like all inclusives like yeah. amelia and i don't but yeah for my mom and dad it was easier right yeah. so it's all inclusive and i think on day three i was finally joking with with her i said should i take a picture of my plate and send it to daniel because i'm protein rich right yeah breakfast lunch dinner meat 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 yeah yeah, yeah. and then beer all day yeah yeah right great things for gout yeah yeah great things uh good lord huge attack on saturday night like seriously like my, my foot is just killing me yikes. killing me yikes gotta balance that out man gotta get yeah, some veggies in. yeah stop eating so much meat yeah get some veggies in there yeah i guess so. hey, that that's, that's what we're at what are you up yeah. to get uh, ready to be a working boy dude i i uh yeah, there's just there's so many things to so first. I'm freezing my ass off. So I am You guys are cold. I'm like I'm like a true Canadian. I never complain about the cold. I am freezing my ass off. It is so cold here. And like I don't know. You know, Where anyway, you guys at we, right now? we got like we're at uh I think it's actually starting to warm up. So we were at like minus it was minus 15 feels like minus 30. I think the lowest we got was minus 18. Feels like minus 36 ish. Um, so so we're back, we're feel back We were at, you know, yeah. plus 29. Felt like maybe plus 35 because they made yeah. Diddy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. And it was, well, it was full of Canadians all saying the same thing. Yeah, thank well, I'm from Winnipeg. It was minus yeah. 29. Yeah. 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 You can have it, man. Yeah, well, we, we got that, and we got, uh, I don't know, we're at 25 centimeters of snow last time we shoveled. Uh, Holy shit, you yeah, guys got yeah. dumped on. Yeah, we got dumped on. We, we got another 10, I think, coming tonight, so. You know, I said, I stopped listening to the news, so I had no idea yeah. what's going on anywhere. Good for you. We were checking the weather just because it was so nice, Yeah. and we wanted to feel that much nicer when we knew our Canadian yeah. friends were all freezing to death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we just thought, wow, this is really yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. But we did yeah. hear from a lot of people from the East Coast who were just who were, who were at the resort saying, oh, my God. People yeah. from Wisconsin, it was like, you know, yeah. uh, you know, zero. Their zero, not our zero, which oh, is, wow. I guess, down back yeah, into the minus. Minus 30-ish? It, whatever right? the hell it is. Zero cold. Fahrenheit is <laughs> minus 30. Yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's just cold. Yeah, like, it's cold. It's bloody cold. cold. Yeah, it's cold. You know, it's and cold. we're all laughing, sitting there on the beach, drinking a beer. Uh, that was awesome, yeah. man. I, I never complain about the cold. I actually love it. I love the snow, but today, that's cold. You guys are not comfortable uh, though. And plus, you guys have had you guys have had it for a run. Yeah, yeah, we've had it uh, about a week now. I think that's a long um, time though to be cold. Yeah, yeah. I know. You know, all the prairie people are like, really, you guys suck, right? <laughs> Montreal people are saying the same thing. But you know, anyway, I don't care. I'm cold. 
So yeah, but Montreal people, because they, they, they get humidity in there too. It's cold. Yeah. Like in the prairies, a minus thirty. Okay, not say minus minus thirty is freaking cold. Yeah. yeah, but you'd be a minus fifteen in this city. Yeah, like our city, and it's bloody cold because you know why? Yeah. There's so much water in there. It's in your bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't and when get you're warm. on those lakes. You yeah, you yeah. can't warm up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, so, yeah. humidity, cold is brutal. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Just freaking brutal. Dry, dry, cold sucks. Yeah. Not as much as wet cold. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Oh, well. Yeah. Hey, that's good. Uh, you can bitch about the weather, so whatever. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. That and... Get uh, ready to start? What's going on? I, you know what? I, I'm not... I, like, I've been working with them a couple of days a week. So I've been doing stuff with them already. And I'm getting a marketing plan together already. Um, but uh, I'm just... I'm scrambling. I got, I got all these... All these things for all these other customers I'm doing, right? So Yeah, just, we got a meeting uh, Thursday. Yeah, we do actually. I need to move you. Yeah, do you need to move me or are you going to move me? I'm going to move you. Okay, well, what are you planning I, to do this? I, um, on this podcast, so you wouldn't <laughs> move <Jesus>. too much. <laughs> so what do you, what do you move me to? I don't know. Uh, when it, we were supposed to meet five o'clock your time, I think. Oh, okay. Actually, no. Uh, that's your first day, right? Yeah, I'm just I'm at a strategic offsite, but I think I'm okay though. I think I'm okay. If it's five my time, it's okay. Yeah, I think it was two o'clock our time. Hey, even if it was okay. three o'clock our time, it's not the end yeah, of the world. Yeah. No, it's fine actually. Right. It's fine. Yeah, that works. So no moving. We're good. Because we're meeting Jim before that anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. This is gonna be a complete uh, sort of revamp of a small yeah. company. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've uh I've been sketching ideas like crazy. Awesome. Um, thinking about what to do with him. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Put down yeah. the legit plan. Put yeah. it down. Let's, let's see where see where it goes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. What else I've been doing? I've been doing. Um. Oh my gosh, I'm all over the place. So I am doing. So I'm. I've got some old school stuff going. So the cafe. Um. We are. That one's, it's really fun. She's, she's amazing. So Tina who runs uh Buka Moranga is, is amazing. Um, I'm, I'm doing some old school stuff for her. So I've got, I've built these postcards that we've got to, we're going to drop. Um, so we're going to do 10 office buildings around. She has this really neat location in Mississauga where kind of the North, uh, the Northeast side of her is all corporate offices and the Southwest of her is all residential. So. We're gonna we're gonna strategically go after the businesses and try and blow up her breakfast business, um, you know, because I think we've talked about it before. But she's got this cafe where she's got an amazing catering business and she's got an amazing lunch hour business, but breakfast she doesn't have, more. you know. But but the yeah the problem is is you just can't you know you can't bring on enough staff staff for lunch because yeah. they're all standing around for breakfast, right? Yeah. Um, and then, and then she closes at four, right? So you're just like, it's not enough for the day, but it's too much to handle over a lunch hour. What um, time she open? She opens at eight. Um, she yeah, opens so at seven eight, right now, shifts, but though. she's going to go to eight. So yeah. yeah eight to four going, shifts though. Yeah. What time um, does usually start with the world in Toronto? Like what time's a is nine uh, o'clock sort of start or is it? No, no earlier. So kind of like you're commuting at, if you, if you work downtown Toronto, you're, um, the hardcore guys out of like the suburbs. So if you're kind of 30, 40 minutes out, um, 40 minutes to an hour out, you're leaving, you're leaving the house at like six 30 ish. So you've missed them completely. Uh, um, yeah, but where she is, is she's in the suburbs. So they're all rolling into the office around eight ish, um, eight, eight thirty ish. Right. So she's kind of right. Eight yeah. Eight, you've missed them. Yeah. 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 You can't, you can't you've lost that yeah. one. You need the eight thirty. Well, Nine o'clock. Got, she's at seven right now, but she's got no business coming in at seven. Do you know what I mean? Like not, yeah. not like she doesn't have a reason to be in, but she literally has no customers coming through the door. So she's going to, for now, she's going to cut it back a little bit and go to eight. It's better for her in her home life. So I said to her, look, we can, we can still drive you morning business. We can still drive you morning traffic. Um, you know, and we'll try and fill eight to noon, right? Like that's kind of our very first thing to do. Um, so we're dropping old school postcards. We're going to go in and, and try and meet and greet some of these companies, you know, do some of that stuff like, to yeah. you know, just drive awareness and, uh, but it's, it's, it's hard. Um, 
I think indie businesses, you know, you, you do so many things on your own that she's kind of like, as we, as we put the stuff together, there's always that like, well, what about this? Could we do this? Could we do that? Could we do it? And I said, look, we need to focus, right? Just like focus I, on I, a couple, I focus on a few yeah, things yeah. and do them well. You know, you, you want to conquer the world, but, but we're going to, we're going to conquer the world if we conquer breakfast. So exactly. I think, honestly, if you right? get that breakfast crowd, you got really yeah. good odds of them coming back at yeah. lunch. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Their challenge is going to be the eight o'clock start. You know, she may want to open the doors at seven forty-five. Yeah. I know yeah. stupid, but that yeah. 15 minutes is huge. Well, so she's got an option because they're in any way doing, they're in like kind of prepping the kitchen for catering orders and all that kind of stuff. Right. So they're there. They just, um, again, it's like resources, right? So you, you can have two guys in the back, you know, prepping catering orders, but you almost need a third out front right. to kind so of, why does she stay up until four? Right? So, um, yeah. Another one. Why of not? Those why not? Why there. not? Why not? Seven thirty yeah. to three. Yeah. I mean, this is one of those, right? So, so we went through all of these and I said to her, listen, why don't you, here's the easiest way to do it. Why don't you choose what's right for, you know, she's got young kids. So I said to her, choose what's right for your family and then 100%. we'll figure it out. Right. And then, and then as customers come in, your, your customer base is going to evolve. Right. And so you're going to, you're going to start getting that where they go, Oh my gosh, I wish you were open at seven. I'd, I'd swing by. Right. And then as you add those up, you realize like, Hey, you know, it's, it's kind of time. I, I got to like, you know, when I open the doors at eight, they're, they're lining up outside to get inside. We hope it's like that. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and then, you know, you got to roll back the hours to like seven. Right. But could she do, do, do she, do her employees are all full time or are they part time? They're part time. So are they five hour shifts or, or full eights? They're, I think they're, there's one that's a full eight and a bunch that are fives. Right. And what does yeah. she work? Yeah. She works a full eight. No, she works a full 10, I guess. Or whatever it is, right? So she's open. She's into open at like seven, and then she closes out at the doors close at four, but they're out of there a little bit later than that. I think. Yeah, so, I guess what I'm, I'm yeah. you know, I'm, I'm trying to picture. Yeah. yeah. Like to me, if you're talking, she's got a solid lunch crowd. Yeah. She's done by two thirty. Yeah. So yeah. why are you open till four? You're in Mississauga. Yeah. And you're yeah. you're in the burbs. I'm sorry, yeah. not for anything. Yeah. You're better off to be six to two thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Agree. Agreed. Right. You have Agreed. your staff there. Open the doors. What's the difference? Yeah. Be ready. Yeah. And if anything, Agreed. like go for that real breakfast crowd and get those freaking commuters before they head into town. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you're not getting anybody past two 30. And I bet you her yeah. business between two thirty and four is dead. It's pretty quiet. Yeah. Right. So yeah, what the hell close early, make it like it's yeah. an industrial park. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Or do a yeah. seven to two thirty open. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Anyway, Half all of that's, down. you know, yeah. all of that's up for grabs. So if we're, we're doing that and, and it's, uh, but, it's one of those struggles. Like when, when you're doing these is I think part of the, the role of these jobs is to be strategic and keep the eye on the ball. Right. Because you, you know, they, indie owners, they're used to trying to like chase a million things at once. Right. And I guess what we do that's really good is you come in and kind of dial them into, you know, look, this is what, you know, like at one point I had to say to her, listen, like, this is what you brought me in for. Right. Is, you yeah, wanted you wanted to grow something. I'm going to help you grow it. We want to take over the world, and we will. But just we you got to do, do baby steps, right? It, right? Like we've we've got to do one thing at a time. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, yeah. she's open seven days a week. Uh, six days a week. Yeah. So she doesn't open Sunday. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Shaw. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure I'm. Yeah, I'm recording. Just make okay. sure recording. Yeah. Don't delete the first part we talked about. No. Nope. Take this bridge. And this is going to be the, the, the bridge to the bridge. <laughs> Fucking Shaw. So if anybody's from mm -hmm. Shaw Cable is listening to this podcast, I can't stand your company. They do this every this our internet is horrific. Ugh. Horrific. Oh, somebody help. Come on. Help Kenny. Horrific. Out. Shaw. Somebody. Horrific. Absolutely horrific. Oh man. I had to go shut it off. Oh really? You had to reboot yourself. So they had no, no internet downstairs. It's almost like every night yeah. around these times, we lose bandwidth. Huh. So I don't, and correct, frankly, in 2019, I don't give a shit if the whole city yeah. is using Shaw. I yeah. don't give a shit what the bandwidth is. Yeah. Figure it out. Yeah, really. There's a reason we pay a billion dollars a month yeah. Yeah. for this crap. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, man. double my speed. You could quadruple my speed. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I got no internet. You can be you know, 8 trillion yeah. megabytes per second. Well, who cares? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Anyway, I'm not happy, yeah, Shaw. Yeah. Not happy. Shaw. Shaw. Anyway, so yeah. Anyway, yeah. so what I was going to say to you is what she should yeah. take, take a peek at. Because, again, I don't how, – how many hours – so she runs – she runs herself as a full shift and she's got how many other people she's got her husband and her. So, and then she's got one full timer and then, uh, uh, two or three, five hour guys, I think. Um, something like that. Something like that. You know, she wants to make her life easy and make it easy for her husband too. Is like, I honestly, and I'll tell you because, because I know from this, from our world. Yeah. Tighten the hours. Yeah. Right. And you have, if you have someone there from six till two, yeah. two from six till two and two from seven till three, shut the thing down at two thirty. That's yeah, it. Yeah. And yeah, you've yeah. got four people then yeah. all day. I'm more uh, than enough. I, I'm actually, I, I'm trying to stay out of her ops almost. Do you know what like I'm, I'm, right? Because yeah. it's part of it, right? Because yeah, yeah. anything you do really is going to impact yeah. operations. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because if you yeah. do spike the business or move the business, yeah. you screwed up or off. Yeah, I've thrown everything off. Yeah. Right? So yeah. if you throw it too far to the beginning of the day, yeah. you know, it, 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 shouldn't, it shouldn't screw lunch up because they're two different, uh, they're two different uh, concepts. Yeah, they're different right? audiences. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. So, so we're doing, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so we're doing, well, I'm doing that. I'm doing that for her. And then Rachel's doing her socials. We're starting to blow up her socials. Very cool. um, that's pretty cool. And then um, Interlocate. Interlocate's been really fun. We've been writing. Uh, so I got our content plan in play. We're going to build a couple of webinars for her. I'm rewriting. I met her today in the midst of the snowstorm, and we re- were rewriting copy for her website. Awesome. Um, so I almost actually missed us tonight because literally that I was like, the dining room table upstairs is a disaster, right? Cause it's all, you know, we, you know, we're visual people. So we literally like Sharpie in a, in like the back of printouts and, and you're drawing what the landing page should look like. Yeah. You know, what the value props are, what the story is, you know, starting to draw out diagrams and, you know, and then I'm, I'm like, I'm plowing through copy trying to, you know, um, trying to clean things up and, you know, sometimes you don't know, right? Like we, you know, a lot of times, like when you're a big business, you know more, I think, uh, because of the data or the data points. But when you're a small business, you um, you kind of go off a bit of gut, right? So so we were trying to figure out, like, who is the decision maker in your business? What triggers them? You know, so I'm writing content and copy based on that premise. Yeah. And then, uh, and then you just test, right? And then we'll figure it out. I said to her, we'll track, right? So if you get a high bounce rate, I'm sorry, I'll go back and do it again. <laughs> You know, like, but, but, how, yeah. but, but, you know, as we've but talked there's about, there's no other way to know, right? That's yeah. how you do it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is why, you know, we had those rants of about 10 episodes ago, whereas, you know, yeah, so easy, so easy, so easy, my ass. No, so we, no, it's no. not easy. No, it's not, right? It's not, yeah, it takes, yeah, it, yeah. Takes, it takes skill set, yeah. it, and, and you got to work at it, right? Yeah. But yeah, it's all part yeah. of it. Yeah, it's all part yeah, of it. it's, I mean, you know, and, uh, so I'm doing that and then, uh, and she's kind of like, well, wait, when are you going back to work? Like, how long do I have you? And I said, no, no I'm going to keep working with you. So we just, you know, we'll figure it out. And, uh, all of a sudden I, I kind of like, you know, she and I got together and started talking about all these things that we were planning on doing. And so now we've kind of kickstarted, you know, <laughs> like I think I've added like, you know, 12 extra hours of work this month, you know, that I got to figure out how to do, you know, but it's amazing, yeah. right? Like it's, you know, it's, it's, what nah, you it's and it's good though. You're helping people you know? out. So yeah. What the hell, right? yeah. 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 And then I'm, I'm wrapping up with Mutlux. Um, but I, uh, she must be in a, she must be happy as a pig and shit right now. Oh my God. The weather's she, definitely helped oh, out. I think, I think this is her. Like, I, I think this is like, this is like her meditating, you know, doing her thing over the snow and we literally, you know, so she, so I got her on board. So we've been writing Google ads now for three or four weeks and it's just starting, like it's starting to, it's not a miracle worker, right? Like, so, but we're generating, we're generating clicks. We're generating a ton of traffic that we're starting to convert. Um, you know, there's still one by one sales, right? So you still don't replace a wholesaler, but, um, you know, or a retailer, but at least we are, 
you know, we're driving her traffic to her business and, and we just doubled down, right? Like she called me and, and I was like, hey, listen, it's snowing like, you know, Armageddon out there. And she's like, yeah, double up. Like, let's just, if you're going to do it, do it's it our now, season. But, like we're going to go hard. You've got to so. be cautious of tell her, you know, yeah. you should be able to, you know, I talked about this. I, I knew this was going to happen. And yeah. so did you, yeah. you can pretty much guarantee cold weather in Ontario in the winter sooner or later. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The problem is you just don't know how long. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So now that the, yeah. she, the season's been shortened, whatever, run. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, what do you do for next year now? I mean, this might be one of those, those aha moments where, you know, if you don't lose the house, yeah, you might want to sit back and say, okay, you know, as cool as this is, how, how do I mitigate uh, some of this yeah. crap? So, so this is where, okay. So this is where social testing or no, this is where digital can help you. So we're laying this base of Google ads right now. And, um, you know, the cold snap hit the U S before it hit us. Mm -hmm. And so I've been driving U S ads. So I've been layering like the U S has, you know, the budget's been twice as much as the Canadian budget. Right. And we're starting to make all of these penetrations in the U S and I said to her, listen, like the U S ads, when I'm gone, you should keep running these. Right. Because you are now, you know, like you're now getting eyeballs in the U S to pay attention to you what we have to do is we, we need to find a promo that drives, you know, in the same way Canadians think of Mutlux for um, dogs in the snow, you need to think, you need Americans like in Arizona to think of Mutlux for hot paws. Hot paws. Do you know what I mean? Like, so it's got to be the same. That's how you balance this out. So that next have to. fall, like one, next fall, you're, you're not going to make as much and you're probably going to get jammed up, right? You're probably, you're going to go out of stock. You're probably, you know, because you're forecasting off a soft year, right? And you're not going to go as hard as you did before because you're going to be gun shy. So the only way to do that is to balance out the other seasons. And now that Absolutely. we've already made inroads, we're going to keep going, right? So Absolutely. I actually said to her, listen here, I think we should figure out if there's a, um, a bundle deal that we can do that's a four season bundle deal. So imagine if you are... We could, we could start with like empty nesters or like snowbirds that yeah. um, are up here. And then you go, listen, like you're going to get your, your snow paws. And then you're going to get your, um, your muddy paws for the spring. And it's then like a subscription. Paws, right. Yeah. But, but more like a, almost like a buy to get one fifty percent, like some sort of value bundle. Yeah. Uh, or like a, like a Costco bundle. Do you yeah, know no, what I mean? totally like, what you're saying. Yeah. And I said to her, one, it moves inventory. Two, it puts these things in somebody's hands that maybe wasn't thinking about the next season or may not come back to you in the next season, might wait till next winter. Yeah. But now you put them in there on their paws and then now we've got these people committed to coming back, right? Hopefully. Um, so, we're, so we're trying to figure out if we can do some sort of bundle deal with, with that. So, yeah. I don't know, yeah. How, I don't know how, else you, how else you manage it, so... She's yeah. going to have to try to level out the year as much as humanly possible. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. some care companies did. Yeah. Some care companies to do a hundred percent of their business in Canada anyway, yeah. between May and August. Yeah. Now they're doing, you know, 80% of their business, let's yeah. say between, well, not even that, maybe June and August and doing the other 20 on those other, on the periphery months or not, it's not in that bad, but they've realized that in Canada, we all bugger off in December, yeah. Jan, Feb, so yeah. there is a sunscreen market. You can't yeah. expect retailers to carry a ton of it. Yeah. But there is some. But you yeah. have to stretch it out. You yeah. have no choice. You got yeah. skiing. You know, you got to yeah. start, yeah. you know, you got to start telling me why I, I need, yeah. you know, the Mutlux 24-7, yeah. 365. Yeah. You tell me why. Yeah. And there's enough the, reasons. The hard part is, I think for indie businesses, the hard part is, you know, you're in that you're in that crunch. Like she's in that crunch, right? Which well, is for sure. I made all a crap ton of inventory. I'm trying to, I'm now I'm trying to save the season, but I, what I really needed to do was lean, you know, this was my year to lean into more marketing. So I could, you know, like it's that, you know, yeah, but the sales right now are going to allow her to do that. Hopefully. So the, yeah. Even if it's just yeah. a wash. Yeah. The fact that she's going to be growing. Um, yeah. Um, a wider, a wider stretch. She's going to be in a good spot. And yeah. what you got to tell her is, you get gun shy in the fall versus this year, but don't go too far. No, 
Yeah. Don't cut it 50%. Yeah. No. But maybe cut yeah. it to 75. Yeah. yeah. Right? And you know what? If you sell out in January, not the end of the world. But but I think the retailers will still have stock. Yeah, and and you're you're gonna look at that. You're gonna look at this year, like you know, you're gonna look at this year and go, okay. So you know, we leaned in and, and we maybe made twenty percent more than we should have, right? Um, so where, wherever we land at the end of this winter season, they've saved the inventory. You know, like there's twenty percent extra. Got it. So next year, maybe you cut back ten percent of your forecast yeah, or whatever it is, right? So they yeah, so you're making seventy percent. Yeah. yeah. Of what this yeah. year, because you're still carrying uh, yeah. 20. Yeah. But, you know, again, you can, and yeah. it's hard because you can't predict the weather. No. You know, you, you could go into next year and you guys could start snowing in October. Yeah. yeah. And snow till yeah. March. Yeah, you're so Not changed, likely. Right. Like, yeah. Not likely. Yeah. I mean, I think those days yeah. seem to have, our weather they patterns might have, seem to change. Who knows? So. Who knows? But you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But you know, it's like cash flow is, you know, cash yeah. flow is king. Yeah. You know, and inventory really. It's nice to have, but quite frankly, if it's not moving, it's not nice to have. No, no. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. It does. Yeah. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, well, what the hell, right? Yeah. So that's what's going on, man. I like, so you, like I got three customers with three totally, completely different things going on. Do you know what I mean? Like they're just all over the place, but you know, it's going to be fun. And then now I'm throwing Nimi in there and, and Nimi, you know, we need a, we need a whole new plan and we need a uh, whole new content. We need to, I got, I got a mandate to fix the website, fix messaging, figure out who the hell I'm talking to. You know, it's, it's like, whoa, it's, it's actually, you know what? The funny thing is it's like our friend there. It's, it's a really similar, you know, I'm literally looking at it going, who are these people? Like, yeah. you know, like who are my consumers? Who are my customers? Who's landing on the page? How much does the page matter? you know, how much, what, what is the marketing plan? Like, am I just trying to, you know, um, the NIMI is a B2B company. And so B2B you know, anyway, yeah. which probably makes yeah. the webpage that much more important, right? Yeah, it does. And then, I mean, if anything, that's your you know, social aspects. I mean, really whatever it's B2B. Yeah. I mean, your webpage really yeah. needs to be. Yeah. It needs to be place. Yeah. And then I, once I get everything going, I have to figure out how to, almost have to figure out how to market um, like Health Canada, the FDA, you know, places yeah. that, uh, you know, the European, like all of those kind of regulatory bodies that uh, look at, you know, um, production environments and figure out how to talk to them so they understand who we are, right? Yeah. Um, so there's, there's some really specialized stuff there, but it's not unlike our friend actually because our yeah. friend's going to need something like that too where – Look, there's a, you know, um, the friend that Kenny and I keep talking about, he's, he's this guy who sells um, a, a consumer product, so, um, but, but a highly specialized one, right? So we're going to have to figure out all of that stuff, like who yeah. his consumers are and where they are and how he talks to them and, you know, like buyer, you know, consumer personas, buyer personas, the whole bit, right? It's, so, it's almost got to start from yeah. scratch on that level. Yeah. And the challenge like we have on this one is that who he wants isn't, isn't who he his products yeah. talking to at this yeah. point. Yeah. And my worry is that we can get that person, yeah. but at what cost in terms of money and what cost in terms of actual time resource and human resource. Yeah. And is it going to matter? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. it, I, to me, that was still a tricky one in that I, I really think the best thing to do is, is the demographic is what it is. Yeah. I think we try to pull it back a little bit. Yeah. But as young as you and Kathy and mm. sort of as old as my mom and dad, and that's mm -hmm. it. Not yeah. I forget the kids. Yeah. I forget the mid 20s. It's not where the money is. It's not where his volume is, right? No, so, no. And it's not where the market yeah. volume is to be yeah. very frank with you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You yeah. know, you saw the graphs of data I showed him. So he went through and, I, and he goes, well, and I said, yeah, I said, sometimes what you have to do, <laughs> well, you know what though, but this is, this is an important thing, right? Uh, yeah. But, you know, when you're going to start to do a marketing plan, you have to look at the market. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So in Canada, for example, this product we're talking about, where he wants it to go is into, into young, young moms, uh, or, or people starting to think about being moms. Yeah. So let's say or that's between family, 25 right? and 35. Yeah. Right. But in our country where 20 years ago, I think we were just under two people per household. 
yeah. uh, children, pardon me, were at 1.54. Yeah. So we're getting to the point they figure in 10 years where in the old days you'd have two adults, yeah. two children. So yeah. it's a wash. We're going to get to the point where we're going to have two adults, one kid. Yeah. Which is not going adults, to work in the long term. No kids and a dog. Well, so, but yeah. the dog doesn't do shit for taxes. No, no. The dog doesn't do shit when I'm getting ready to go in the yeah, old folks home or someone used to help me out. So it's not going to help our pet. friend either, unless our friend's going to get into, you know, a pet related. And even that's a tough one on that side, right? Yeah, it's very tough. It's yeah. a very difficult one. But when you start looking at it, you got to, you know, you got to go where, where you got, you got to go where the people are. Yeah. And we just are not producing a lot of babies Mm-mm. in this country. We're just not. And, it's, and you're yeah. only in a baby side for how long? Yeah. yeah. Two yeah. years? Something like that. I you know, know what I mean? As a, as a pre-mom, six months? You know, the, the other thing I was thinking about too is, is um, moms, are, moms are older now too, right? Yeah. Like I, I know a ton of moms that are, you know, kind of 30. I know more now between 35 and 40 than yeah. I know between 25 and, and 35. So there's an argument there to be made to our friend is look, if, if you start with Kathy and I are oldish, youngish, right? We're 46, right? Yeah. You're and in the, so, you're sort of not old, but you're definitely not young anymore. Yeah. Right. But, so, but, but we're in the category. So if you market to someone like us, the marketing is also going to hit those kind of older moms. Yeah. yeah. You you'll know, you'll so catch the 30, some, 39, 40 year old mom. Some in there. Yeah. 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 So, I don't know. Because you're, you're different stages too. So you could have a lot, you know, what's the youngest, what's your youngest kid's age? Uh, she's 11. 11, 11 right? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, you had, you know, you had at 35, you know, you're talking now to a lot of moms. Let's say they're, you're in Kathy's age. Yeah. That the youngest is six. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. That's a, that's a big difference. Those four or five years, that's, that's. You know, you think of the things you guys are able yeah. to do now yeah, because you have an older one in the house and then the younger, but you've got enough, your, your life, there's a massive difference between six and 11. Yeah. 11, yeah. you could be the quasi irresponsible parent in today's world, not in the old days, in the today's yes. world where you could go for a coffee, the two of you for a couple hours yeah. in the afternoon. Yeah. And you shouldn't feel guilty. Yeah, politically incorrect, and you're gonna look a degenerate. But who cares? No, I, I don't feel guilty. I, I've equipped her. She's she's good. She, and bottom line, listen, fifty yeah. years ago, she would have been in the backyard yeah. farming anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or tied to a tree herself. or or something. Exactly. So you know, who gives or, a shit, right? You know, or or I just would have sent her away and not known where she was. Until, exactly. Just told yeah. her to be home for dinner. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, at six. <sighs> yeah, no. no, a little different. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I mean. um, We'll talk to him Thursday and then. Yeah, no, I think, I think, yeah. I think there's, there's a ton of, there's, you know, and I want to spend more time with them too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. In general. And I do. Cause I just, I, yeah, I'm just, I, I, I want him to do that. I want him to kill it. Yeah. I do right? too. I do too. You know, then I'm thinking I've yeah. seen Patrice on um, Friday and that's another one. I want her just to destroy it. She's going to kill it. She's I, I know well, she's already killing it anyway, but I, I want her to completely just freaking. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I want her to kill it. Yeah. Yeah. Like just crush it. I love her stuff. Like I like so. That's, that's awesome, man. So like, if I take everything else away, you know, as much as I know Patrice and I love her and I'll help her with anything, but just the product alone, I would go back and buy it. So yeah. you know, like it is, it is really great. Like from my eczema, from the kids' eczema, like it's it's fantastic. So, so if you're looking for a great yeah. eczema product, yeah, the plug today will be Satya. Yeah. It's yeah. a great product, super clean, and a yeah. wonderful person making it. So for the three people listening, poor Linda is no good because she makes it. So pretty much useless <laughs> on that front. But you know what? <laughs> They'll love her anyway. <laughs> um, and you can get it at well.ca. Yeah. Um, so they sell it there. Or you can go to satya.ca. So S-A-T-Y-A dot C-A. Um, or, or at uh, well.ca. And it's it's fairly reasonable in terms of price. So. Uh, well, I think it's actually more it's than definitely, it's definitely for, in the game. for what it's worth. So yeah, definitely in the game. And yeah. for a clean product that yeah. actually works, yeah, it, it's super reasonable. Yeah, especially yeah. as you know, it's not a condition that's necessarily fun to. Uh, no, you know, it's not a condition you're too much worried about. No, you know, e- efficacy is going to be kind of critical on this one. Yeah, prices yeah. is, is not even works. tertiary. Yeah, it really works. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's very exciting. No, that's yeah. very cool, man. That's yeah. Yeah. That's, that should be, that should be pretty good. Yeah. Otherwise, that's last week, all I did was skew yeah. rationalization. Yeah. Skew oh, so I tell you what I did my art. I did my, my, um, what do you call it? My process. Okay. So I go through, I figure now if life stood still, I could cut about two thirds of the skews and I think it's going to impact the top line 12%. Um, ouch. But So but, what does that so, tell you? So Kent, Kent, when you get to this episode, Kent, Kent, I'm thinking about you, Kent Fenwick. I'm calling you out, man. Whatever Kenny's talking about now, you got to think about for your biz. Go what ahead. you do is because he knows yeah. we're guilt-ridden, all he has to do is phone and we'll walk him through it. Absolutely squat because I feel like a complete dick that I haven't helped him out. So quite frankly, I'd walk him through it. But now, and, and honestly enough, so do it this way, Kent. Listen, Yeah. take two thirds out. If the world doesn't change, you lose maybe 12% of the top line. Yeah. But what you do at that point is all the efficiencies in-house you start picking up because now you're making way less products. Yeah. If you start making way less products, you can make more of way less yeah. skew yeah. count. And we can actually start focusing on those skews. We could probably buy better. We're storing inventory in a whole different matter. Our warehousing changes, whether that's the garage or downstairs, wherever the pallets yeah. are, everything yeah. changes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, okay, so for the other two people, who are listening to us um, in case you don't know, right? So <laughs> skew rationalization is, is when you carry an assortment of products, right? Whatever they are, it doesn't matter. Well, it could be in a retailer. It could be a distributor. It could be yeah. anybody. Could be, it could house, be anybody. Yeah. So, so you could, this could be as simple as, um, you know, kind of ditching old stuff in your house. Like, seeing, absolutely. It's the same uh, thing. You know, the inventory in your house and the same thing for retailer, a wholesaler, um, uh, anyone, right? Is, you, you eventually build up because you, you start with, hey, I only need three items. You know, these are the three I'm going to sell. And then eventually you get to six because somebody asked you to carry. And the next thing you know, you've got 12 or 15 items or a thousand items. And then as you go through that, there is a process where you go through it and you realize like, hey, you know what? Like, you know, the top 20% of the items that I carry. So, 20 out of a hundred. It's 80, 20 rule all percent. the time. Yeah. Like they, it makes up all of my volume, right? Like 80% of my volume comes from those 20, 20 codes. And then the other 80 codes are, are kind of kicking around, you know, 80, 80 SKUs are making up 20% of my volume. Right. Yeah. So, um, so you always want to do some cleaning house so that you, you don't, you don't carry a million things. Right. Um, cause it all costs you money. Exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then what you do is then you take a breath of air because I'm going to scare the hell out of these people. <laughs> right. Because right now it's all empirical. It's just numbers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. And then you look at it and say, okay, you know what you guys, I'm not suggesting it could take two thirds out, but I definitively think you could take 40% out. Yeah. Yeah. And if you took 40 out, you're probably impacting the business no more than 5%. Wow. So it gets you to the point that really and truly, why are you carrying this inventory yeah. to satisfy 5% of your sales? Yeah. 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 The what amount of saving, money you right? can free like, up in yeah. other pockets. Yeah. yeah. Space. Yeah. Uh, inventory yeah, dollars. Thing. Yeah. Uh, focus for your salespeople, whatever it is. Yeah. And retailers are the same. And we, and we all, listen, I was a buyer and you sold. I overskewed all the time. Yeah. All the time. And then you'd have to go back and say, okay, yeah. you know, that was, that was kind of stupid. Yeah. Or, you know, I tried, Ooh, but you I know, got I don't excited there. Excuse me, Tylenol. <laughs> right. right. Oh, I got excited there. I, I thought that was going to, oh, all right. Yeah. No, yeah, but, but you gotta, but you gotta do the work though. So, exactly. so you take the risk and, and uh, when it doesn't work, um, be decisive about it because there's an opportunity there too, right? When you, when you start to cut back, you know, maybe there's a creative way to get rid of some of this stuff, right? Absolutely. But it also gives you room now to bring something new in. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Cause now you got cash yeah. back. You've got yeah. some space back. Yeah. Right. And this is where Kent has to take a look at things too. So I don't know where he's at, but yeah, you, you have to go through this process Yeah. and you have to learn how to close your eyes sometimes and just cut things. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Kent will help you. Yeah. No, but isn't that I, funny I, though? I like when you think of it, eh? how many SKUs? And, and what the total impact was, would be the top line. That's crazy. That's crazy. 
that's right. That's a lot of. But it happens. You just don't look at it, right? Yeah. And that, what you do? What, what's the first thing you think? Well, more is better. Yeah. No, not necessarily. Well, it's also, you know, because feedback from customers is not accurate, right? Like, no. you know, when you're a retailer, you you do you you kind of like you, you know, we we always talk about it like profit is a big thing, right? But satisfying the customer, making sure your customer, your consumer is happy is a big thing too. But sometimes, you know, means you get, maybe you get like a couple of well-placed feedbacks from a customer could make it feel like everybody wants this item, right? And then you go and you bring it in and you realize like, no, one person it. wanted the item. Only two people wanted this. Exactly. <laughs> Damn it. Like, now we got this whole case of stuff. Like, where are those two people and why didn't they come back and buy more, right? Like, what the hell, right? So, well, you know, I was like, I mean, we skid all the time. I, I told you, I, I, um, I was talking to that small um, uh, liquor store chain. Yeah. And we were going through some of that and they said, well, you know, what, how much leeway did you give your stores? And I said, the challenge is this, guys, and this is not to pick on store staff, but, you yeah. know, hey, Vanuch, listen, you know, everybody's coming in and wants this jam. Oh, everybody. okay. Who's everybody? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, lots of people. Okay, yeah. so who's lots of people? Yeah. Well, Mrs. Jones. Yeah. I'm thinking, okay. well, so who gives a shit? Is, is it just Mrs. Jones or, like, does she have a family of 40 does or, Mrs. like, Jones what are we talking about? Have a community of 700? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like, like what's, what's the number look and, like, right? And so. not for anything, but I'm sitting up at a level where I'm looking at all the Mrs. Joneses yeah. and none of them seem to give a shit. Now, yeah. that's not to say you don't have a legit uh, demographic in your area. Yeah. But it's, it's the absolutes of always, nevers, everybody, uh, no. Yeah. Tell me, like quantify it. Put some put put a number beside it. You yeah. tell me who everybody is. How many everybody's told you that everybody wants this jam? Yeah. If it was two people, no, so two people told you. Now, if they're influential two people, yeah, maybe you have to look at it. Yeah. Maybe. But, but I get it too, right? As even as a buyer, you go walk through a show and you see 17 tables pitching, let's say, something thinking, shit, this must be hot. Yeah. This must be the thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Not realizing that everybody wanted it apparently. So all these guys started making and shit happened and it could be a pocket. It could have been just downtown LA. I I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Downtown Toronto wanted it. Well, that's great, but that doesn't mean anything. We're in St. John's doesn't help or Winnipeg anywhere else. Yeah. Right. So I mean, you gotta, you gotta wait. It's hard though. Yeah. Cause emotion tip kicks in. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I just thought it was funny because I told you I was working on it before I left yeah. on holidays. I finished it up on Saturday night and I looked and I thought, wow. Wow, that's crazy. That's a, that's a lot of skews to chop yeah. and really have a very, very limited impact on the, on the top line. Yeah, that's a lot. That's right? a lot. But you're going to save them a ton of cash. You really are. And just on everything. I mean, yeah. honestly, this could save a building move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, where you're in a building, whether it's you know twenty thousand square feet, and because of what you're doing, you need thirty. Yeah, and it's legit. But when you start looking at the numbers, well, you know what? We probably mm-hmm. only need fifteen. Yeah, yeah. You know how much? It's, you know, rent in Vancouver is not you know no. lower mainland. I mean, seriously, it's you could save deep. you hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of yeah. dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, or you may look at it and say, no, you know what we're going to do now that we've seen that we really need our people to focus on these because we believe these are great skews. Mm-hmm. Here's why mm-hmm. I don't care. Yeah. So, I mean, you maybe you find more revenue the in the, those codes, but yeah, but this is yeah. what the numbers say. Yeah. yeah. Tell me, do, do you yeah. tell me the reasons why you think it'll work, but you yeah. don't tell me it's because everybody or the numbers say that actually nobody. Yeah. Quite frankly, or, or so, very, very few. So, you know, if you really believe it, then put some money against it. Like, you know, yeah. phone filled. Yeah. Do a marketing plan. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Cool. They're fun to do when you pop. Projects like that are fun though. No, right? it is fun, right? I mean, because you, you're helping. You, you've found them. Well, potentially you've found millions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and, and it literally is millions. I mean, it, there's, there's, you know, you're talking, you could be talking saving millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's funny, right? Because, you know, we talk about it, but, but um, Skew Rat, um, so if you're in CPG, everyone calls it Skew Rat, Skew yep. Rationalization. But Skew Rat is, is not a, um, 
it's not a skill for the faint hearted and there's it's not a lot of because that, you're really worried about cutting things but but there are not a lot of people that that are really good at it too right so no. i think that's one of those things that no. um like we're being awfully nonchalant about it but the work you did is it's pretty big it's it's uh oh i took i took a long time and yeah. i and really i I'm, I'm, I'm like i'm not diving eh yeah like i'm skimming yeah and it still probably took 20 hours to do it and we're talking i it was only 1500 skews yeah. yeah i mean i'm not talking you know a, a store of 90,000 skews yeah Gotcha. You know, but that still yeah. took a long time. And again, I'm skimming. Now it's all I've done is got us to a point where you got a discussion. Yeah. Where now you go in and you scare the hell out of everybody because they're thinking, oh my God, you just chopped away 10% of this and you stand, okay, that's true. <laughs> but this is what else we've done. Yeah. So what's the number that you're comfortable with and you tell me why? Yeah. All on my job is to, is to provoke thought. Yeah. Right. And yeah. question and say, you know, I, I appreciate what you're saying, but doesn't yeah. make any sense. And here's why. But now, if you really yeah. want to do it, I mean, that's, that's, I have yeah, no yeah. it's still your business, right? It's your business. And, and you yeah. know your business better than I do. I'm just coming from as an outsider saying, well, this is yeah. what I see. Yeah. 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 All right. From my experiences anyway. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes so sense. So different than what you're going to do with, with uh, your, with your new, with your new gig. I mean, seriously, what do you know about the industry? Yeah. Nothing. Who cares? It's a widget. It's true. It's, true. it's a widget. It's the same true. process. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool widget, by the way, but yeah, pretty cool. Like a super cool widget. <laughs> I've already had to, um, yeah, I've had to stop some stuff. Like again, right? It's it's we talk about like all the digital stuff, and you know, it's easy to do, right? But I get there, and and we're doing YouTube videos and things like that, and you're kind of going, why? What do we? What do we for need who? these for? Like for, for who? For, who? For, for the, you know, for socials. We don't need socials. Like we're, we we're not, we're, we're not that sort of company, right? Like if, you're not, you're not, if we're going to have Rihanna doesn't need to be your influencer. Yeah. It's no. not going to help you. No, I mean, I mean, so there, there's a recruiting aspect. So I said to them right away, like, look, if you want to, if you want to use socials to talk about how wicked of a company we are, great. I'm in. Right. So we, sure. we can find someone to do that. Right. And uh, you can talk about how great our culture is and you know what it, but we've got to, you've got to put enough content together for that. I don't care. Right. But we, we don't like, nobody can walk off the street and buy this. Right. So what, well, I don't know what we well, need what social support, for, right. Like, I don't know, you know, I like now you know. again, having said that, you know, if who would have, who would have thunk that, uh, goofy ring doorbell thing would have been yeah wicked the smash hit yeah maybe this is yeah. maybe this is our new way of getting into the house yeah yeah eventually but maybe but, the problem, into ring. but the problem is is you've got like we're we're not that company like we i know you're not you know we do the encryption behind it we do the signature behind it but even the nfc pad that you use you know like you put the thing on yeah. and you tap it against the wall we don't do the pad Right, we don't do okay, the pad so, that's so at the end of the day, the wall, and do you know what I mean? Like, so, yeah, so what's what's your social you know, angle on that? I know that's what I'm saying, right? So Buddy, I was like, you just need you know, a wicked web page. No, so when I'm you, looking for no. that, and I'm a very yeah. specific person. Yeah, and I'm looking for this because it's not yeah. me. It's going to be some guy, you know, trying to figure yeah. out how to secure the warehouse better. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. doesn't want to pay the bonded insurance, and maybe this is yeah. a better way to protect yeah. his world or hit that's, her world. That's a that's an ops manager. That's a uh, facility security. guy. There's a security guy. But that's not He's someone not. looking on Instagram saying, no. holy shit, thank God. Woo, look at that. Exactly. Hey, hey, Rihanna hey. likes it. Um, <laughs> big shit. Look, it has 1,800 likes. I, I got to go check it out. Like, exactly. Uh, you're never going to do that on this. <laughs> well, you're right. Yeah. Now, having a cool yeah. fashion. Now, if you had yeah. somebody like, you know, I, who is it, Clooney that owns a tequila company or is it? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I think, I think uh, I think Ryan Reynolds is doing, yeah. like if those guys have, within yeah. their their cool industries yeah. have stuff that needs that level of security and they get behind it yeah yeah you might but again yeah it's not an instagram facebook thing it's t you need a web page that i go to like when i went to the web page and you told me mm -hmm. and i'm thinking well i don't know what is that and then you start yeah. reading because i'm interested because it's you yeah. i'm thinking fuck this is cool yeah but but yeah and so my thing is i we've got to get around that because you read it because you knew me and you wanted totally. to figure out what the hell this thing was, right? Because I'm but, not, I'm, I don't need you know, it. Yeah.
but but the thing is is even the people that need it how do you how do you do how do you solve the burning question right like that's the biggest thing in marketing is absolutely how, how do you solve the burning question right so whatever the burning question the first you have to figure out who does what do they need and then do you solve that need then you got to make sure that that first moment that they land on you is i'm solving it right yes, like it's an aha moment they got to go wow that's yeah. that's that's what okay, i that's, I, keep reading. Now, I don't maybe not need you specifically yeah. but this is what i need yeah so now it's a phone yeah. call or a tap and saying, yeah. hey, can you tell me more Learn about more. your product? Tell me more. Learn more, that's, right? You that's, need that. That's, that's exactly action, it. Right? So, yeah. But that's yeah. a robust, really, yeah, wasting yeah. time on YouTube. Now, if you're going to yeah. do YouTube because you're going to show me um, how to do it, YouTube, I'm saying video yeah. now. If yeah. you're going to show me, how, and as a person, it, look, I'm thinking, oh, wow, that's, that's yeah. 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 That's that's so, pretty cool. That That would save yeah. us. So we're repurposing those for customers of ours that are onboarding more people. So as in, this is great. Like this is exactly what you need to send to a customer that's already a client because then they can go out um, yeah. and as they socialize it, you know, if you, it's a test case and it's 30 people, you want to show this video to all 30 people. So they go, yeah. hey, this is wicked cool. This is how I do it because that's how it's done in the video. Yeah. So yeah, but that's not on YouTube. That's going to be no. some sort of private that's, site. It's going to be yeah. their own Vimeo. It's going that's to be internet. Yeah. Right. Like it's that's all an internal their, play yeah. or yeah, yeah. yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally. It's got nothing to do yeah. with nothing to do yeah. with social, but that's a very difficult, that's a very different marketing play. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Cause now you're even, how you're marketing, you're now talking to a level of education sophistication is far greater yeah. than consumer side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a whole yeah. different world. Oh, no, yeah. I mean, that's that's, that's cool. a whole lot of like customer success almost, right? Yeah. Because you're just like, look, I, I need this to normalize so other people, will, you know, will buy into it. The company will buy into it. You know, next yeah. thing I know, I own the company because I'll lock them out of. No, anyway, I'm just joking. But. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's before you start. That's a good dummy. <laughs> 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 you <know? laughs> no, you're a beauty. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's what's going on. That's it here too, man. Yeah. 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 All right. That's the end of this commerce life. We'll be back soon with the next episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give us feedback. Tell us what you think. Subscribe, like us, join us, share us, tell your friends about us. And uh, we hope to see you next time with, uh, with more commerce news.